let us look at this question. Uh, a survey has is taken from what 75 visitors to a mystery creek agricultural show to determine the popularity of some fast food outlets. So this is say a mystery creek and there were 45 visitors to this creek and they ate some fast food and this is the statistics or this is the information. So 40 visitors ate burgers. So I'll write B for burgers. Okay. 41 visitors ate fried chicken. So I'll write C for chicken. And 31 ate fish and chips. So F for fish and chips. So let us make three. These are three circles representing three types of people. So B for burgers. So this is B for burger. C for fried chicken or chicken. Uh, fried chicken and this is for fish and chips F for fish and chips okay uh, eight, 15 ate both burger burgers and fish and chips 16 ate both chicken and fried and chips 18 ate 18 ate or had eaten both fried fried chicken and burgers and 7 ate all the three foods so when you write drawing the Venn diagram, always start from the innermost and innermost or the intersection of all the three areas. So this area, which is the intersection of the yellow, the orange, and the white circle, that is B, C, and F, is seven. So seven, eight, all the three foot hoods. So I'll write seven here. Okay, and this is the universal set. Of course, we should not forget this is the sample space. Uh, that is 75 okay so let's go backwards so 18 ate both fried chicken and burger so this is fried chicken this is fried I'm oh, sorry this is chicken and this is burger so 18 ate burger and fried chicken so out of 18 you're already written 11 sorry 7 so 18 take away 7 is 11 or 11 plus 7 is 18 so this is done this is also done 16 had eaten fried chicken this is chicken and fish and chips so 16 8 and from 16 you have already written 7 so 16 take away 7 is 9 so 9 plus 7 is 16 so this is done 15 had eaten burger and fish and chips so this is this area is for burger and fish and chips and 15 is what we want to write in this area. We have already written 7. So 15 take away 7 is 8 or 8 plus 7 is 15. Okay. So this is also done. 31 8 fish and chips. So this is your fish and chips. So you got 8 plus 7 15 plus 9 is 24. 8 plus 7 is 15 plus 9 is 24. And you got 31 who ate fish and chips. So 31 take away 24 is 7. So I have to write 7 here. Yeah. So that's done. Or if you add all the three, four numbers, it will be 31. 41 ate, 41 had eaten fried chicken. So this is, this total area has to be 41. So this is 9, 11 plus 9 is 20, plus 7 is 27. And you have to take away 21, 27 from 41, which is 4. So this is 14. So this area has only 14. So and so this is done. And 48 only burgers. Okay, or 40 total 8 burgers. So this total area is 40. So this is 15 plus 11 is 26. And 40 take away 26 is again. 14 so I'll write 14 here so let me delete this so this is uh, the total uh, or this is of all the three circles but now we have to write something here so what is the number that comes here there were 75 visitors to the mystery creek so this so let us add the total of burgers so burgers is this is we already know is 41 so 14 14 plus 8 is 22 22 
plus uh, 9 is 29 burger is 40 sorry not 41 so this is this is 22 plus 7 is 29 uh, 30 40 so this is 40 burger is 40 okay so this is 40 and this is uh, I'm only adding so let me not write so I'm add if you add the burgers that so that is 40 so if you add these two numbers that is 14 plus 9 is 23 and then you've got this 7 okay so this is 10 so this is 70 so this is has taken care of only 70 people who ate so there were five people who did not eat so that will come here you're right five here so this is the complete Venn diagram so once you draw the Venn diagram you can write any probability that they are so let's uh, ask answer the first question the first question is what is the probability calculate the probability that the bird that the at a visitor sometimes ate eats burger so sometimes eats burger is uh, only this area okay so only burger the people who ate burger is 40 out of 75 so the probability so I'll write like this probability that a visitor ate burgers is this area so that we know is 40 out of 75 so let us simplify this you can divide both by 5 we divide both by 5 so that is 8 out of 15 okay so the next question uh, okay there let me drag this up okay a visitor does not eat any of these food so what number to represent that so this five represents the five people who did not eat any of these food probably they ate something else so they brought their own food a visitor who does not eat any of these food is five out of 75 so you divide both by five which is one out of 15 and finally a visitor who eats only one of these foods one of these foods means either only burger so this these are the 14 people who only ate burger there are again 14 people who ate only chicken and seven people who ate only fish and chips so this is 14 plus 14 is 28 plus 7 is 35 out of 75 people who ate only one of those foods so that is 35 out of 75 again you can divide both by 5 which is 7 out of 15. 